Hey, it's Grant with the Garden of Eater, and today we're going to do a petrified wood scape, and we're going to set it up with the dry start method. We're going to start off by cleaning off all the petrified wood, and then lay it all out to see what we have to work with. Now I like to place the wood inside the tank, and arrange it a few different ways. But none of this is set in stone. I may change this several times before the scape is over. Then we're going to add some soil to secure the rocks and hold them in place. The soil I'm using is Brightwell Oscuro Extra Fine and I'm going to place soil behind the rocks for plants to grow later on. Then I take the smaller pieces and I place them to secure the slopes and also to fill in the gaps. But I don't use all the pieces, I save some for the end when the plants don't completely fill in all the way. You want to make sure the soil stays damp at all times. I spray it every 5-10 to 10 minutes with a bottle of RO water with 5 milliliters of Florin Multi, a liquid fertilizer from Brightwell. The foreground plant I'm going to use for this tank is Monte Carlo. I started out with a little bit in one of my shrimp tanks not that long ago and it hasn't grown that much, so I don't have a lot to work with. For this reason, I'm going to do a dry start method. That means I'm not going to flood the tank with water right away. Instead, I'm going to keep the tank humid by covering it with saran wrap. And every day I'm going to remove the saran wrap and let the tank vent for 10 to 15 minutes while spraying it down before and after. Using tweezers, I'm able to plant the Monte Carlo quite quickly. And with the small amount that I had, I do the best I can at covering the entire tank evenly and spreading it all the way across. One week later, I planted some super red mini Lugwidia in the back of the tank. Also, some bits and pieces of mini bulbous throughout the tank. The following week, growth is quite impressive. And I've added more soil and Monte Carlo on top of the remaining petrified wood to help fill out the tank more. After spraying each day, you will start to see the water level rise. I like to keep it just above the substrate to help maintain with humidity levels. Also, I've trimmed the Super Red Mini Lugwidia and replanted it. Trimming and replanting will help you grow out stem plants a lot faster. Week 5 in the Super Red Mini Lugwidia has almost completely filled out. Week 6 in some of the Monte Carlo has filled out completely. What hasn't is very shallow soil. So what I did was I removed the Monte Carlo I added in more soil, I compacted it down, added the Monte Carlo back on top to add thicker substrate for it to grow more roots and hopefully it'll fill out quicker. Fast forward two months and the Monte Carlo has grown out quite a bit, but still not as lush and green as I want it to be. Fast forward another two months and the tank has grown out to my satisfactory. It may have been done sooner to some people, but I really wanted the cliffs to grow out a little bit more before I flooded it up. Now the only thing you want to tend to is the Super Red Mini Lugwidia. You're going to want to cut it all the way down, and by doing that we're going to avoid any melting issues a stem plant might have. For this tank I'm using Florin Bacter for my bacteria, and Florin Delta GH Plus for my remineralizer. Also I'm going to continue using the Florin Multi as my fertilizer. All of these products, including the soil, are all Brightwell products. Here it is all flooded, but it's still not finished yet. The Super Red Mini Lugwidia still needs to grow back. After three weeks, the Super Red Mini Lugwidia has grown about an inch and a half. And also, I've added some Cardinal Tetras to the tank until I can figure out what shrimp to add. If you have any suggestions, comment below. Till then, thanks for watching.